Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a new entity type that actually has unique uh, variables and unique properties that can then kind of carry with that agent throughout the simulation model. So let us create a new model and I'm going to call this for now just fruit agent. And the idea that I want to create here is I'm going to generate fruit coming in on a conveyor, typically in a packhouse, and each of the fruit items that are created will be different in size. Um, and the size of the fruit will then kind of be shown both in, in terms of a number on the fruit as well as the sheer size of the fruit, just to demonstrate that you can actually add these properties um, quite physically onto the variable or on, onto the agent. So I'm going to my project. And by default, I have a main agent. So I'm going to say new agent type, and I'm going to call this agent fruit. At this point, it is a pretty default um, agent, nothing really spectacular about it. So, oops, let me just scroll a little bit. And I'm now going to add from my palette draw the agent and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little text object onto it I want to make sure that it is centered and I want the font size to be 8 so just drag that to the center that's fine <clears throat> and the name of this text object I'm going to call name and I also want to add a variable which is associated with this agent type called fruit. And the variable is simply going to be called size. It is double, and by default, we can put in any value. I'm going to put in two. Now, <clears throat> if I don't click on any one of my ob objects, you will see in my properties page that it gives me the name of this agent type called fruit, and it provides me with opportunities to give code on what should happen on startup when it's destroyed etc and what I want to do is on startup actually change or randomly determine the size of this fruit agent as well as change the shape and the number that appears on the fruit so I'm going to refer to my variable size and if I press control space it actually picks it up and I want to say that the size should be some randomly distributed value. Now, let me just type this out. The minimum size should be 10. And there is this library in Java called math. If I press control space, it will pick it up. It's a standard Java language library. D dot. There is one random and it will generate a random number between zero and one. So in essence, what that line tells me is the first component says that it will be minimum size 10 and then 20 multiplied by some random variable uniformly distributed between 0 and 1 will then give me a value between 0 and 20, which means in effect that the variable size will take on any value between 10 and 30. Next, what I want to do, so one thing that I just have to change is this oval, this shape of the fruit I'm just going to call and give a name shape fruit the text on the fruit will be called name and we have the variable size next what I want to do is I want that shape fruit to take on a particular size so I'll start typing shape it picks up my shape fruit and I say dot and you can go through all the, the things that you can do to this object, but the one that I'm interested in is called set radius. And the radius that I want to set is this value size, but I'm going to divide it by two. This has just been through trial and error that I know. Um, something between the size of 10 and 30 just appears very big on 
kind of in, in the model. So it makes more sense to, from a size point of view, to just shrink it by, by half. And lastly, I want the name, which is also the variable, um, the text portion on the fruit. And I press dot control space and I say set. There at the bottom, you see there is a method called set text. And the text that I want to do, in this case, I want to take the size, I want to show the size on the fruit, but at this point it is a double value. So all I'm going to do is just round it, and there is a function called math.round, which will give me a long, which is just a long integer value, and it should round size for me. And that is at this point all we need to do about this fruit. Let's go back to our main model. I'm going to start by drawing just my space markup. And for that, let me draw the first portion of our conveyor over here. I'm going to call that space main. It should look like a conveyor. zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to split my fruit into one of four classes everything between 10 and 15 in size anything between 15 and 20 20 and 25 and everything greater than than 25 so I need four streams for the different sizes small and it should appear like a conveyor <coughs> I'm going to be somewhat lazy and just copy that one and let it paste And for each one of these, oh, I just need to change their names. That will be space medium. Space large. And we will call that space oversize. And what I want to do is associate a variable with each one of those to just count how many of those I'm actually observing. So that will be variable small and its initial value will be zero and in this case it can be an integer. 